Hey Collective, welcome back to another video. This is Tarot T with Empress Meek and thank you so much for being here with me. Today we're going to do a special reading and this reading is going to be for everybody who is connected with a twin flame or soulmate. All right, this is for the ones who are in separation from their partner. We're going to go ahead and ask for it to channel some messages from the person that you love or that you care about or that you are in separation with. Maybe you're wondering what they're thinking, what's going on with them, um, you know, if they're coming toward you or how they feel. This is going to be pulling messages of how they feel um, and things that you need to know about this connection for twin flame and soulmates. All right, guys, so I'm sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. I want to thank you all for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, divine angels, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, thank you so, so much for bringing me here with the collective. Thank you for clear messages of love, truth, and light from the twin flame and divine feminine, between twin flames and divine feminines and divine masculines. Right. Let's get started. All right, give me clear messages for my collective, please, in their twin flame journey or their soulmate journey. What messages do you have, Spirit? Okay. The first message is give thanks. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So I feel like Spirit is telling you to continue to be patient, you know, continue to be operating in the a highest um, form of manifestation, which is gratitude and love. Um, so Spirit is telling you to be grateful and give thanks for the things that are to come. All right. So let's see what else. And I feel like this person is being patient as well. Uh, I feel a strong attraction. I mean, I know that you two miss each other. You know, and Spirit wants you to just be patient while you two are allowing situations to unfold naturally. I feel like this is a situation where neither one of you want to be malicious and you're doing the best, the thing that benefits you both. Okay, so that's good. You're keeping your karma balanced. You're taking your time and you're letting divine timing work for you. Perfect. All right, let's see what else. What else, Spirit, would you like to show collective about this connection? Okay. We have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And I feel like you two feel this strong attraction for each other. And no matter what is standing in between you, you guys are holding on to that. And I feel like this is transforming your bond. It's transforming your relationship and it's transforming your commitment to each other. You know, into the common goal of you inevitably being together in a healthy relationship that's not toxic and it doesn't have boundaries or limitations, right? And the next card that came out, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I feel like you two know that. I feel like you two are growing together. Um, you're understanding the ebb and flow of life together, ups and downs. Granted, you two are in separate family situations or separate living situations or whatever the case may be. Some of you are overseas or across um, waters, different parts of the country, just away from each other. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are holding on. You guys are holding on to the promise, you know, to the talks that you've had, to the memories, you know, to your common goal. And doing this you know while you're separate you're learning about love and you're understanding love in life you know uh last but not least time you are trying too hard give it time so somebody is wanting this i feel like somebody is trying to rush things somebody is having a hard time releasing control having a hard time being away from this person for so long and trusting divine timing knowing that whatever you love and whatever belongs to you is going to come back to you right when it's supposed to in divine timing. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in a little bit deeper and see what's going on here. Right, so we got to be thankful. Don't rush it. Give it time. This says that your relationship is transforming as you both learn about love and life. 
Okay, and then it says when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding. So you guys are learning and you guys are not being hateful towards each other or malicious. You're understanding each other. You're on the same page and you're supporting each other. You know, for the ones of you who are in separation, but you guys are still communicating, you're supporting each other. Okay. This is a bond that's going to stand the test of time. It's going to continue to grow, you know. So let's see. As long as you guys nurture it. Show me the feelings surrounding this soulmate energy and what's going on between the collective and their twin flame or soulmate. All right, we have somebody suffering. All right, um, and I feel like you guys are both feeling this energy of missing each other. You guys are feeling, um, somebody is definitely feeling lack and feeling regret from the past. Um, past lack and suffering, wishing that they would have made the right decision then. Um, knowing that if they would have took their time, then you two would be together right now. You know, and I feel like you feel this a little bit of regret, but you know, you're accepting things how they are. You know, you're doing what you have to do to just go with the flow. Because I feel like. I feel like you guys see each other as wish fulfillment, of course. You're wishing for each other, you're longing for each other, and you you know you want to be together. Show me more messages for the collective and their person. What do they need to know about the surrounding energy between their soulmate or twin flame? Right? Somebody is balancing their shadow side. Somebody is uh, trying to balance the things that tore you guys apart. When you are together. So that you'll be able to come together. And this will work the next time. You know. Somebody is balancing their shadow side. Trying to work through. Um, their downfalls. And shortcomings. All right, um, So they can be open to this opportunity. That's going to come. And this is you also. Balancing your shadow, shadow energy. Being patient. Loving yourself, doing the work so that when this opportunity presents itself, it's no way you're going to miss it, right? Hold on, guys. Let me see if I need to turn the light on. There we go. Turn the light on for us. So let's go ahead and dive in a little bit deeper. Somebody's regretting not being honest with you. I saw a deception here. And I feel like somebody is regretting not being honest with you about their feelings. We have lack in action here. So somebody is definitely feeling bad about the decisions that they've made. And I don't want to say that somebody's regretting their life that they have now or anything. Because I'd hate to think that somebody's regretting their children or anything like that. But they do regret not taking this opportunity with you when they had the chance. This person thinks about coming towards you all the time. You know, and you you guys miss each other greatly. It's a lot of passion here and chemistry and love. You know, both of you wish for each other. So let's see what else you need to know about this twin flame connection or this soulmate connection. Um, let's see what Spirit wants you to know. So we're going to get some messages, some love or good messages. So first, I'm being led to pull some, some of these. So I have some more Love Oracle messages, these here. And I really like these. These tell you more about how this person feels. And this other deck tells you more about situations and gives you advice. So let's pull these first. Then we'll pull some of the other ones. Then we'll clarify with the tarot reading. All right, so ancestor spirit guides holy angels thank you for being here with me in the collective show me messages of truth and clarity for them on their path between their twin flame soulmate and them what do they need to know what are these people feeling toward my collective show me the feelings of their twin flame and soulmate somebody wishes they could take back the choice they made they wish they could take back whatever they did Somebody wishes they could take back not coming down this path with you. They really do. This person is really feeling bad about it. I feel like you brighten this person's day. You know, when you guys are connected, this that's divine. All right. And this person is in lack and not feeling good. They're not in their high vibrational energy right now. 
because they love you and they miss you. They want you back. They want you. It's like it's you guys aren't going to be complete until you're together. All right. Show me past suffering. Destiny is taking us down different paths. So now this person is really, really heartbroken that they let this happen. And now that it's happening, karma and the universe, the ebb and flow is going. The wheel is turning. It's no stopping it. They made their choice. So let's see. And I feel like both of you are sad about it. One of you are still single. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. This person feels your energy. You guys feel each other. I have sexual fantasies about you. This person thinks about you all the time. I feel like as soon as this person thinks about you, it's like attention or waterfalls or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's lit. All right. Balancing the dark night of the soul here. Somebody knows that they aren't up to par. They don't want to repeat another karmic cycle with you. They want to do things the right way. They're balancing this energy and they are coming back towards you. Your story is not over yet. This is what this person wants you to know. This is what spirit wants you to know about you and your person. Okay? This person loves you dearly. There's a lot of love here. A lot of things you two made it through together. You know? And it's unfortunate how things took place but this is benefiting both of you tremendously so when you do come back together it's going to stand the test of time nobody's going to be able to break you apart this time okay so for celebration i check on you from afar so they're watching you they're keeping tabs on you they're making sure you're okay for those of you who haven't spoke to your person in a while they watch you some of you know they watch you you watch them you love each other, so you check on each other. You want to make sure each other's okay. They think the world of you. They think you're amazing. They've watched you grown over time, and they are completely impressed. They knew, they knew you were their wife or husband, but they just weren't sure. Some of you, this person still had things to get out of their system before they made this final move with you. They didn't want to come down this path with you and then ruin it. Like, so now that you guys have this time, they're using it wisely. They're using it wisely. And so are you. Because right now they feel like they can't give you what you need. So you see how this man is watching. They're just watching. Making sure that you're okay. Just checking on you. Seeing how you're doing. But what they want you to know is they'll find their way back to you one day. You guys will be back together. This person is going to come back for you. Yes, and there's so much that they want to tell you. This person has seen so many things and experienced so many different people. This person's experienced some bad stuff too that they want to tell you about, some trying things, you know, but I feel like you're their best friend. When you guys were together, it was like you guys, that you're their best friend. You know, you helped this person grow a lot and they really miss you so much. They... It's not the same. They can't replace you. They can't find a replacement. They're not even trying to. Some of them did at first, you know, in the beginning of your connection. Let's move a little, let's move on a little bit more. And now we're going to get these um, messages from Spirit about this connection. What does the collective need to know about this twin flame or soulmate journey? What do they need to know from their person? Spirit, what do you want? The collective to know about this message. Fate. This is a destined partnership. So this is a divine union. You guys will be back together. It is fated. After you learn your lessons, you'll come back together. Show me more for the collective spirit about their soulmate or twin flame union. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So for those of you <laughs> who are connected to your person still, send them a funny meme. Send them a joke. Lighten it up. Keep the energy light while you guys go through these lessons together. 
You know, you don't want to make it stressful. You don't want to put on too much pressure. Support each other. What else, Spirit? Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. So you are following your ancestors and guides. You're following your intuition when it comes to this union. You're following your person's energy also. And you guys are meeting each other halfway. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time and it will. Once you guys are back together, it will. Okay. Um, and you will be back together. Somebody may be having a bit of financial difficulties. That's another thing that may be preventing them from coming toward you. Some time apart, distance will help bring clarity. All right. So you guys are understanding what this connection is. The attraction you feel is mutual. No, this person loves you and misses you dearly. And they haven't been able to find anybody to replace you. You know, they want you. But they want it right. They want to be right for you. They want to do things the right way this time. All right. So that's what they're doing. Preparing. Right. And I feel like you're preserving. Right. You're taking care of yourself. You're doing what you have to do to stay healthy and whole while you're apart. So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know about this amazing connection. This is some beautiful energy I feel here. Let me just tell you that. Like, it gives me the, <laughs> it makes me encouraged to fall in love again. Like, honestly, this feels really good, really safe, really secure, and very, very um strategic. Like, you guys are really doing things right here. You want to win. So, I like it. Okay? You're respecting each other's boundaries. That's very healthy. Let's see, Spirit. What would you like Collective to know about this connection? Wow judgment so this is part of um i feel like this is talking about divine law being balanced karma being balanced and i feel like you guys are holding on to each other and this is destined supporting each other not letting each other fall get lost in the world and the things that are going on around us so you guys are supporting each other. And for those of you who haven't, who can't talk to your person or you haven't spoken, your energy is connected. You guys are keeping each other afloat. Just the thought of wondering when you're going to see them again or when they're going to see you again or how you're feeling. Is anybody hurting you? This drives them. Okay, this drives you both. Show me more about this connection spirit, please. I feel like this also was karma that you two got separated. Yeah. Four of coins. I feel like somebody is holding on. Yeah. Somebody is definitely holding on to you tightly. Um, even through look at this hand. Somebody is holding on to you tightly. You don't some of you don't even know this. This person has not let you go. They never went anywhere. They know this connection is fake. They never felt anything like this before. They're not talking, but they're waiting for some of you. Some of you know that um, that they're um, still here. You guys talk here and there, but you're holding back from each other. You're holding back to avoid karma. I feel like you guys already had a dose of karma. That's what brought you two apart. Now you're trying to master everything so you can come back together and you actually are able to stay together. And that is possible. And y'all know it. That's why you guys are doing this like this. And that is perfect. Somebody is definitely manifesting you back could have something to do with a uh, Virgo. Um, I also see, I uh, also see Sag. I see um, Gemini, Le Gemini. No, I see Aquarius and Libra. I see Aries. Here's Gemini. So you guys love each other. You breathe each other in. This lover's energy is strong. It's a divine pair, a union. Okay. So you guys are manifesting each other back. It's destined that you guys come back together. So you're going to be back together. And this time when you come back together, it is absolutely going to work out. It's going to work. You're going to get the, the confidence you need. You guys are going to get the um, lessons you need. And when you come back together, it's going to be divine. Look. Marriage. Commitment. Longevity. A happy home. 
So you guys are going to finally have it right and you're going to be able to compliment each other. Wow, finally. Everything is going to be as it should be. Yes. They're thinking about you right now. And you are thinking about them. Let's get you a self-love affirmation card and then I'm going to close out your reading. Spirit wants you to know to be where you are. Every situation has its gift. To move forward, we must first honor where we are. For now, where you are is where you need to be. That is so sweet. Amazing. This is amazing confirmation as well. So take advantage of this time that you have to learn and grow. So you can be a more amazing person than this person remembered being with the first time. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of unity here. And this is divine. Somebody here deserves their divine counterpart. And you two built something solid that you didn't even realize. The seed that you planted in this relationship is being watered and it is growing. And it's nothing anybody can do about it. It's even caught this person off guard. <sighs> wow, this was a beautiful reading collective. And I am honored to be able to give you this message from your twin flame or soulmate. I love you, love you, love you. And I am so thankful to have you guys. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And if you need a personal reading to tell you more about your divine union, email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to book you for your personal reading. Until next time, collective, thank you for your love and support. I love you and I mean it. Bye.